This is another new topic, the formation of an organism. The formation of a multicellular organism is as follows. The first stage is the formation of cell from the cell division process, and cell is the basic unit of life. The second stage is the formation of tissue from the combination of cells, where a group of specialized cells that have similar function will group together to form a tissue. The third stage is the formation of organ. Multiple tissues group together to form an organ, which able to perform a particular function. The example of organ shown here is a stomach. The function of the stomach is to digest the food. In order to extract the necessary nutrients. The fourth stage is the formation of a system. Where several organs work together to form a system to perform a major function in the body. The example shown here is the digestive system. The digestive system is formed from organ like, mouth, esophagus, liver, stomach, small intestine and big intestine. The final stage is the formation of a multicellular organism. Where all system combine together to form a multicellular organism. These systems included, the digestive system, the blood circulatory system, the respiratory system, the nervous system, the muscular and skeletal system, the excretory system, the endocrine system, the lymphatic system, the integumentary and reproductive system, all these systems that you have seen here will be detailed in the next topic. All right, this is all for this topic, formation of an organism. Now we are in topic 1.5, systems in the human body. There are various systems exist in the human body that works together to form a complete life. Each system in the human body carries out different functions. The following are the systems in human body to be discussed. Firstly, digestive system. The digestive system consists of a mouth, esophagus, liver, stomach, big intestine, small intestine. The main function of the digestive system is to break down the food into small form so nutrients can be absorbed by the body. The second system is blood circulatory system. Blood circulatory system consists of heart and blood vessel. For the function, Blood circulatory system is responsible to transports respiratory gases, nutrients, hormones and waste food in the whole body. The third system is respiratory system. The respiratory system consists of a nose, a mouth, a trachea, and lungs. The function of the respiratory system is to absorb oxygen through the inhalation process and to release carbon dioxide through the exhalation process. The fourth system is the nervous system. The nervous system consists of the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. The main function of the nervous system is to carry the information in the form of the nerve pulses between the brain and the parts of the body, and coordinates all the body activities. The fifth system is muscular system. The main function of the muscles is to assist human in movement. Muscles are attached to the bones of the skeletal system and make up roughly half of a person's body weight. Muscle tissue is also found inside of the heart, blood vessels and digestive organ. In these organs, muscles serve to move substances throughout the body. The sixth system is the skeletal system. In the skeletal system we have skull. This is used to protect our brain. We have bones, this is used to give support to our body. In general, the main function of the skeletal system is to provide support to the body and to protect body internal organ like brain, lung, heart. The seventh system is the excretory system. For excretory system, we have lungs to exhale water vapor and carbon dioxide. We have kidneys to filter blood and form urine. Ureter carries urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder used to hold of urine produced by kidney. We also have skin, the largest organ in our body. Skin, to eliminates excess water and salts in sweat. In general, the function of excretory system is to remove excretory products such as urea and uric acid from our body. The eighth system is the endocrine system. For the endocrine system, we have pituitary gland which located beneath of brain. 
thyroid gland located in front of the neck, adrenal gland located at top of kidneys, pancreas located at the behind of stomach, the ovary that can only be found in the female body, the testis that can be only found in the male body. In general, all this organ in the endocrine system functions to secretes hormones. Hormones are used to coordinate the body activities together with the nervous system. The ninth system is the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is distributed in the whole body. The lymphatic system is constructed by organs such as, thymus gland, spleen, lymph node, and lymph vessel. In general, the function of the lymphatic system is to defend the human body from infection. The tenth system is the integumentary system. The integumentary system is made up of the largest organ, skin. The function of the integumentary system is to protect the human body from infection and prevents the body from losing water excessively. The last system is the reproductive system. The reproductive system for male and female are different. For the male, it is constructed by testis and penis. For the female, her reproductive system is constructed by ovary uterus, and vagina. Reproductive system in the male and the female function in a different way. For the male, the main function of the testis is to produce sperm cell and male sex hormones. For the female, the main function of the ovary is to produce ova and female sex hormones. The combination of the sperm cell and the ova will produce their offspring. The explanation of systems in the human body, end here. Now we are in the topic, appreciating the existence of various organisms. On the earth, various organisms live together, they interact and rely on one another for their survival. These organisms also need to interact with the environment for their survival. For example, they need water, sunlight, oxygen and carbon dioxide. An ecosystem is a community made up of living organisms and non-living components, such as air, water, and mineral soil. We should appreciate the existence of wide variety of organisms, and plenty of resources on our world as a sign of the glory of God. We have just completed the topic 1.6 appreciating the existence of various organisms. This is all the content of topic 1 cell, structure, function and organization. Let's proceed to the next topic.